In today's video, we are going to do some problems on finding the partial derivative of a given function. Let us look at the first problem. They have asked to find the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 and the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 for the function y equals 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube. In the solution, we will write down given the function y equals 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube. We need to find a partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 and x subscript 2. Let us first find the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1. The partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 denoted by f subscript x1 or del y by del x subscript 1 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube. Applying the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the second term minus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative of x subscript 1, x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 7 x subscript 1 is equal to 7 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 plus now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 6 x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square is equal to 6 x subscript 2 square times partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 minus since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 9 x subscript 2 cube is equal to 0 the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 is equal to 1 plus 6 x subscript 2 square the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 is equal to 1 7 times 1 equals 7 plus 6 x subscript 2 square times 1 is equal to 6 x subscript 2 square let us now find a partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 denoted by f subscript x2 or del y by del x subscript 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 7x subscript 1 plus 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square minus 9x subscript 2 cube is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second term minus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2, x subscript 1 must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 7x subscript 1 is equal to 0 plus. Again, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2, x subscript 1 must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 6x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 square is equal to 6x subscript 1 times 
partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 square minus using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 9 x subscript 2 cube is equal to 9 times partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 cube using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 square is equal to 2 x subscript 2 minus 9 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 cube is equal to 3 x subscript 2 square 6 times 2 equals 12 x subscript 1 x subscript 2 minus 9 times 3 equals 27 x subscript 2 square therefore the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 is equal to 7 plus 6 x subscript 2 square and the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 is equal to 12 x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 minus 27 x subscript 2 square let us now look at a second problem y equals the product of two functions the first function is 5 x subscript 1 plus 3 x subscript 2 and the second function is 4 x subscript 2 minus 2 in the solution we will write down y equals the product of two functions 5 x 1 plus 3 x 2 times 4 x 2 minus 2 we need to find the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 and x subscript 2. Let us first find the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1. The partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 denoted by f subscript x1 or del y by del x subscript 1 is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the product of two functions 5 x subscript 1 plus 3 x subscript 2 times 4 x subscript 2 minus 2. Using the product rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second function plus the second function times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the first function. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 4x subscript 2 minus 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 4x subscript 2 minus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 2 plus 4x subscript 2 minus 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 5x subscript 1 plus 3x subscript 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the second term. Since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1, x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 4 x subscript 2 is equal to 0 minus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 2 is equal to 0 using the constant times of function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 5 x subscript 1 is equal to 5 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 plus again since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 3 x subscript 2 is equal to 0 0 minus 0 equals 0 plus the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 is equal to 1 5 x subscript 1 plus 3 x subscript 2 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 times 1 equals 5 5 times 4 x subscript 2 equals 20 x subscript 2 minus 5 times 2 equals 10 let us now find the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 denoted by f subscript x2 or del y by del x subscript 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the product of two functions 5x subscript 1 plus 3x subscript 2 
and 4x subscript to minus 2. Using the Prag rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the Prag of two functions is equal to the first function times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second function plus the second function times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the first function. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 4x subscript 2 minus 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second term plus using the sum and difference rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 5x subscript 1 plus 3x subscript 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 4 x subscript 2 is equal to 4 times partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 minus using the constant function, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 2 is equal to 0. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2, x subscript 1 must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 5 x subscript 1 is equal to 0. Plus, using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 3 x subscript 2 is equal to 3 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2. The partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 is equal to 1. 3 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 is equal to 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. 3 times 1 equals 3. 4 times 5 x subscript 1 is equal to 20 x subscript 1 plus 4 times 3 x subscript 2 is equal to 12 x subscript 2. 3 times 4 x subscript 2 is equal to 12 x subscript 2 plus times minus equals minus 3 times 2 equals 6. 20 x 1. 12 x 2 plus 12 x 2 is equal to 24 x 2 minus 6. Therefore, the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 is equal to 20 x subscript 2 minus 10 and the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 is equal to 20 x subscript 1 plus 24 x subscript 2 minus 6.